Hi, I'm Michael Steinecke, Vice President of IT at EdgeNet. EdgeNet creates software and solutions that collect and configure product data for a number of industries and platforms. As an early adopter of Microsoft Technologies, I was asked by NEC and Intel to demonstrate one of the ways we are utilizing SQL Server 2012 always-on high availability features on their platform. Although we use SQL Server 2012 always-on features in many of our applications and services, like data aggregation for Google and Bing, to hosting for MSN and Better Homes and Gardens, I chose our Big Hammer Designer series to showcase for you today. Our Big Hammer Design software is used by manufacturers, installers, and retailers in Canada and the United States. The general public can use the software inside the Home Depot or on homedepot.com as well as our own website, bighammer.com. Because our software is used in retail selling solutions, it's imperative that our data centers and application infrastructure are redundant and highly available. We chose the NEC 1080A GX servers and Intel Western EX processors because of the hardware reliability, redundancy, and ability to handle huge SQL Server workloads with up to 80 cores and 2 terabytes of RAM. We have multiple data centers to run our software as a service solutions, which are geographically dispersed. SQL Server always on failover clusters and availability groups help us provide the redundancy in our database tier. I have created a self-contained demo of our BigHammer.com infrastructure here on a single NEC 1080AGX, all running under Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V. The new features in Windows 2012 Hyper-V allow me to create two 32-core VMs with 64 gig of RAM for each of my SQL servers in an always on availability group, and all of the web servers and file servers necessary to complete the environment. When you visit BigHammer.com and click on DIY Design Tools, you can pick Do-It-Yourself Deck Designer, select a state, and start using the product. As you can see here, in SQL Server 2012 Management Studio, I've brought up the Always On Availability Group Dashboard. It's showing that all of my databases are in automatic failover and synchronized. Everything is currently green and functioning as normal. We can go to the BigHammer Deck Designer application and open a design that I did previously, look at it, and change it. Everything's functioning as it should. Now we'll go into Hyper-V Manager and turn off the primary SQL Server. This will simulate a hardware failure. As you can see in Failover Cluster Manager, the Availability Group changes ownership from SQL 1 to SQL 2. The Availability Group dashboard also shows the new primary is SQL 2 and the server databases are online. We can go back to the Deck Designer application, make more changes, save a design, to the end user, there is no indication that the SQL Server that runs this application has failed. Had we been using the application during the failure, we would have noticed little to no difference in the performance. EdgeNet always seeks to deliver high-performing solutions that are both reliable and stable. We also need to meet and want to exceed SLAs with our customers. While many components of our planning and infrastructure play critical roles, the reliability and effectiveness of the Intel-powered NEC servers along with SQL Server 2012 are essential to our success. 